First pitch from Sandy Alcantara to Austin Riley. Dribbles right through into center field, and the tying run is aboard here in the bottom of the seventh for the Braves with nobody out. And they turn the lineup over against Alcantara with Ronald Acuna Jr. coming up. It's powered by Google Cloud. And Acuna goes back up the middle into center. Riley will take the turn, but it's gotten quickly by Sierra. Uh, the first two batters reach. Oh, brought him over in the dugout for one. It Smacks it into left field, and that'll tie the game. Riley scores. Freeman, with a big turn, will hold up at second. Marcelo Zuna ties it at four in the seventh for the Braves. Darno is yet to be retired. Darno's got that sneaky right center pop, too. You got to watch yep. out for him. I remember seeing him at Tropicana Field last year when he was playing for the Rays. Went opposite field to right to win a game on a walk off. He's got good power at all fields, especially the other way. First pitch just a little off the corner. Darno ahead of the count. Walked in the first, doubled in a run in the third, singled in the fifth. Well, coming into this, you looked and said the Marlins are 28 0 leading after six innings and. The Braves 17 comeback wins in the regular season so something had to give and <laughs> so far it's going the Braves direction this inning. And AJ back to the point you made with Birdie making that great play that force out now on Acuna is that much bigger otherwise he'd be at third base right now as the go ahead run. He may have ended up scoring anyway on the Ozuna base hit. This might be an Atlanta lead had it not been for that play. And now Mel Stottlemyer, the pitching coach, will come out to check on Garcia. This is the play that Birdie made that you were impressed by, AJ. It was a great play. He's well over towards first base, and most most second basemen would just take the easy out at first, but he turns and gets the ball to Rojas to, to steal the out, keep the double play in order. Then Ozuna comes up the next hitter, gets a hit. Ozuna would have scored easily on the ball that Ozuna hit. So. Right now that has kept the game tied instead of the Braves having a lead. Quick visit from Stottlemyre. Nobody working behind Garcia in the Miami pen right now. It's his game in the seventh. You know who feels a lot better about this game all of a sudden? Max is Free. Max Free. Yep. Because <laughs> you know when you when you don't give maybe your 100 percent best effort. Uh -oh. Swinging away, deep center field, back towards the wall. Sierra at the track. It's gone! Travis Darno delivers, and the Braves have taken the lead in the seventh. Somebody just said something about watching him hit a home run to right center. <laughs> that was an absolute bomb. Yimmy Garcia hadn't given up a home run all year. Only one earned run. We saw with Max Fried him giving up home runs and struggling after not. And the playoffs are a different animal. Yimmy Garcia comes in, struggling from the jump. And that man right there, Travis Darno, just went dead center in a big ballpark. Give the Braves a three run lead. That would have been out in a lot of parks in Major League Baseball. That got over the 409 marker just to the right of dead center. One and one on Ozzy Albies. That might have hit the flagpole of the old, as the, the dimensions used to be before they moved the fence in. That's bit. right. <laughs> Remember, they put the fences in. Move the hill out in center field as well. Bouncer to first and foul, and it's one and two. Darno, part of a four run seventh, a three run go ahead bomb. Looked like a little cutter out over the plate. Darno, full extension. He thinks it right away. And I love the bench's reaction. They're jumping out over the fence, Acuna especially. And you got to. You got to appreciate that right if you're a fan at home. You know as a player. When you watch that this is the playoffs. 
This is why you play all year round. If you got a little extra emotion, I'm totally okay with it. Yep. And all these goes right back up the middle into center. A hard hit knock. Five hits in the inning between Alcantara and Garcia allowed. And James Hoyt, the former Cleveland Indian, who joined the Marlins early in the season, is on to face Swanson, who swings and hammers one towards left center field. Back towards the wall, and it's gone. Dansby Swanson follows it up, and a big seventh inning from the Braves continues. One for 12 in the first three playoff games until that blast to left center. Not the way you want to come into a game as a reliever. First pitch. Hit over the fence for a two run homer, but the Braves, we said once they get rolling, it is hard to stop them, and they have all the momentum going, especially here in the seventh inning. There's Duvall. First pitch swinging, feeling good. It's way high. And it's grabbed. By Anderson for out number two. The last five Braves had scored. This Swanson homer gives him a six run seven. Not, a, not where you want to throw one, Wayno. Across seam, four seam, right, I mean, right down the middle. And 87 miles an hour, that comes off the bat 106. We'd like to say that had good hit and height to it. <laughs> 